So I just wanted to confirm. That was it. I just wanted to confirm. That was it. I figured I'm not going to interrupt my friend's appointment because I don't know what she got going on, what she doing. I just wanted to ask that one question before I left and, you know, leave all excited, expecting to still be on my merry way. He told me that he didn't receive the email. I thought it was I thought it was interesting. It kind of puzzled me a little bit because normally my you know my housing workers like I said been very responsive. And uh, he told me he said well he said when your housing you know leasing officer do uh, send me that he said I will send you a confirmation email. So I said okay cool you know. So um, my friend ended up leaving. I don't really re quite remember how their exchange of words went, but essentially uh, she wanted to see a two-bedroom loft, but he ended up showing us the same or almost the same unit that he showed us when he was showing us a three-bedroom unit. She still wanted to see it anyway. She wanted to go through the whole process, I guess, of feeling like she, you know, this is going to work or happen. I'm not quite you know sure I don't want to add too many words that may be offensive but um she wanted to go through with the whole process still so even though it wasn't a two-bedroom loft and he let her know he said yeah we do have two bedroom unit two bedroom lofts he said but we don't have any to show he said the only one we have is you know kind of like the one you've seen before she still wanted to follow through as a supportive friend I went with her to go see the unit we came back she had a conversation with him. I kind of walked off for a second. I went to go check out the amenities they had, oh, yeah. knowing that he gave me this disclaimer for uh, the opportunity to not, I guess, fully rely on this. But there were six units available. It was only June 19th. And I'm like, I got two weeks and I'm getting ready to get my inspection and I'm going to be out. So, by the time my friend and I um, leave the establishment, um, I call my I call my leasing officer. And he ended up calling me back, um, and then he also contacted me by email. He told me, um, he said I sent over the information you asked. He said I sent it over on July third, and I said mm, that's interesting. I said um, the guy I spoke to told me that you didn't I said he told me that you didn't send the, the information that he requested and so what my leasing officer did was he sent me an email of the full transaction of the conversation that he and the guy had had since the first day <laughs> Since the first day, he, he sent me the full conversation. He sent me the conversation that he sent to him in response to everything that was, was, was sent from the apartment complex. And, uh, yeah, in the email that was sent on June 3rd, not only did he provide him with the information that he requested, he had also suggested that... that he scheduled the inspection the next day. He, he he gave him the information he asked for. And he said, you know, um, you should call on tomorrow uh, to, to set the inspection for, you know, in between the, the, the dates, between now and the 15th. He could have he did it anywhere between the 2nd and the 15th. <laughs> you know, he could have called and said, "Hey, I want to schedule," but he know how this works, so I, I don't even have to do the, do that. Um. Anyway, so um, when he sent me this though, when he sent me this proof that he had responded to the special request that this guy had asked for. I was almost devastated um, because you lied. He lied. He lied to my face. He lied. He lied to my face. <laughs> I can't get over it. This is where like my frustration with everything really start to set in because it's like now, now everything is different. You know, we're no longer being professional and 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 
working with the, the documents that we have. You, you blatantly lied to me, you know, um, and so me still considering, hey, you know, maybe I should minimize what I'm sharing with my friend because maybe he don't want her here and then maybe because I'm, you know, close with her and he's telling her things to discourage her, but... Now he now what he's trying to get to discourage her is affecting me. I'm not sure. These are just thoughts that kind of, you know, were floating around. And I was like, some, some, what, what is it? What is it? I wasn't sure. It's like, got to be something. I'm always like trying to figure things out. I don't know. So anywho, so, um, so I sent him an email and I said, hey, you know, I said, my leasing officer has given me a full transaction of you guys' conversation back and forth since the beginning. I said, um, he did send you the, the the special request that you that you asked for. I said, and he also suggested that as of June 4th, that you call to put the inspection in so that when the apartment is available, the date would already be set. So, um, I have to check my emails and everything, but, um, the guy kind of, the guy kind of eventually was like, um, he said, no, I hadn't had the chance to, he said, no, I hadn't had the chance to uh, set the appointment for the inspection. He said, seeing as though the unit is not vacant. Okay, now I'm like, okay. Now your lies are getting a little off track. <laughs> because the apartment wasn't vacant when I put the money on it. The apartment wasn't vacant when you had it uh, advertised. And the apartment also still was not vacant when you, you know, let me take it off the market. And the apartment is still not vacant, even though you're allowing people to. Because what initially happened is he kind of at this point, he just got to a point where he was just like, let me try to say whatever I can professionally to just get, get them out of here at this point. So he pretty much told me, um, he didn't make the appointment for the inspection and that, you know, unfortunately all units were gone. And so I said to him, I said, that's interesting. I said, you have five units available. I said, I also just seen that there was an extra one up for, uh, extra one that went up for August the 2nd, which, which at one point was $4,000 when I looked at it. Mind you, like I said, the, the prices adjusted drastically, I feel like because the housing payment standard, just throwing that out there, I really do feel like it's because of that. But anyway, um, so... So, it, it pretty much at the end of the day, he told me there were no more units available. Now I'm I'm heartbroken. I'm devastated. I'm like, are you serious? Are you kidding me? I was just calling to see if he had any luck trying to call to set the inspection appointment. And at this point, he's ready to get rid of me, and to no fault of my own. That's what really was bugging me. To no fault of my own. Besides the fact that I didn't go along, I heard somebody say that. I heard you say it. Somebody said it. Like, you should have went by yourself. <laughs> and if I didn't hear you say it, it was thought that I thought it. I thought it. Okay? I thought it. But anyway. So, um. Anywho, so. Um. So, so. I even, I sent another email to even include, you know. I'm like, wow, that's interesting. I'm like, all five units that were previously there, I said, plus the one that was available on August 2nd, all of those are gone? He sent me back an email. Uh, he says, says, uh, yeah, unfortunately, all the units that we have available are gone. And then he put a sad face emoji in it. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe because I'm really upset. <laughs> Maybe because I'm being sensitive. I don't know, but I took offense. I took offense. Don't sad face emoji me after 
I just went through all of this to make sure that this was going to happen. I went through everything. You sad face emoji me. I put the down payment on. I passed the credit check with fine colors. Um, my housing worker made special accommodations for me. Um, the whole, I gave my landlord a 30 day notice. Um, everything, everything, everything was a go. And then you sad face me and say, yeah, unfortunately, the apartment is not available. And the thing that's really bothering me the most is it was a personal decision. I, 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 I don't work at the office and I'm not trying to like say how people are supposed to do their job or I know this market very well, but I refuse to believe that six people from June 19th, <clears throat> Well, let me say from June 3rd, 4th to June 19th has came and rented all six units. Maybe they have, but either way, he had already knew that I had the 30 day notice to vacate signed by my landlord. And he asked for a special accommodation that was also given. And like I said, the credit check, another thing, the credit check, because of the way, because um, I want to say at this point, the way I um, was utilized, my credit card utilization at this point was a little uh, higher than what I usually keep it. I try to keep my credit card utilization um, at 30% or less, uh, sometimes no more than 50%. But anywho, um, my credit card utilization at this point in time, when I went to apply for this place was a little above my average. It was a little more than the 30%, um, which caused my, which caused my credit score to drop 30 points when I, when they did the, uh, credit pool for this place. Um, so I was just a little flustered by all of this because I'm actively watching my credit. I'm, I'm, you know, crossing all T's, dotting all I's, so to speak, in, 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 in my eyes. And you couldn't hold it? And I was there first? I was there first. I put my money down and took the apartment off the market. I don't care that I have housing. I went through the procedures necessary. <laughs> I did what I I did what I knew or what I thought I knew best. I I did what I thought I knew would work. I put the deposit on there. Can't nobody take the deposit like you you. And yes, he verbally uh, made me aware of the fact that you know he wasn't gonna honor it anymore. And I accepted I accepted the fact that he wasn't going to honor it anymore thinking that as a human being as a de a person with some decency that even if someone did come for the apartment that I put my money on knowing that the only thing that kind of was holding me back was waiting waiting for the opportunity to call to make the inspection. It's not like the inspection wasn't gonna happen. It's not like getting through to inspection services was gonna be hard. It's not like the inspection services was gonna be another challenge that was as challenging as prior to, to, to the whole application process. The inspection process would've been easy. You call the phone, they pick up, you set for a date in between the dates of the move in, they say yes, and then you do that. He could have did that. He could have did that the same day that I filled out my application in May. He could have called and he could have said, I have a person moving in on this day. Can we have the inspection done by this day? It could have been scheduled. It could have been done. It could have been done. And so, so we get to this point. And like I don't know, like I said, <sighs> the sad face and my, my 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 feelings is really hurt because at the end of the day, 
I feel like me being turned down at this point was a personal decision. It it, it was no longer um, about the, the application process. It was more or less about the personal perception or perspective of, I guess, who my friend and I are or whatever. Not really sure. You can give me your feedback. <laughs> Let me know what you think. What could I have done differently uh, going forward? Uh, like I said, again, this is the reason why I'm creating this vlog because I am still in the process of searching for an apartment. The only thing is I am going to slow down um, on my search a little bit because I want to get to a place where I can rebuild my credit up a little bit because I don't want too many pulls on my credit that's going to disqualify me even, even further. So for each apartment that I apply for, uh, if I get denied, I'm going to have to take a couple weeks or a couple months to uh, keep up and maintain the way that I have my finances uh, flowing to help continue uh, increase and build uh, my credit score. Now, at this point, I'm upset. And I send this guy a letter and I'm like, you know what? There's some form of discrimination here. I don't know if I'm being discriminated because I have Section 8. I don't know if I'm being... I don't think I'm being discriminated because of my race. But after talking to several people... And then the people who live here in the state that I live in, the uh, majority of people I spoke to feel like I'm being discriminated because of my race, because of the area that it's in. Yeah. And I do plan on uh, putting in a claim and starting a case for this. I don't know how far it's going to go or if it goes anywhere at all. <laughs> uh but this is the reason why I'm recording this video log so that I can also have uh, verbal evidence and, and support and backup and information <laughs> because I need help. I'm tired. I am tired. When I say I'm tired, I'm tired. Whew. Okay, I got that out. Y'all don't understand my frustration. You will discover later on when I start putting up more videos and start sharing more more stuff. Um, anyway, so um, I sent the guy that I had been dealing with a pretty much an email letting him know that I was uh, very displeased and that I was going to put in a complaint um, to Fair Housing and that I was going to be in pursuit of finding a lawyer because I don't understand how this didn't work and I don't know I need answers or something or I, I needed something so I don't know but <laughs> it's not fair I just feel like it's not I just really feel like this is not fair like this that's just at the end of the day it's it it's not fair and I don't want to walk away quietly you hear me it's not fair, and I don't want to walk away quietly. So, anyway. Um, so, I, uh, I sent out an email to one of the women that's supposed to be higher up above this guy. Um, I've also come across another... Um, contact information for one of the like senior VPs for the family and housing program that this this apartment community has. Uh, mostly trying to get in touch with someone to really kind of let them know about this this whole transaction um, that happened with this guy. You know, I, I'm, I'm ready to tell everything. I want to talk about how the rent adjusted. I want to talk about how, you know, I was told that he was aware of everything. The application process went through. I just, I just wanted to share with somebody who worked for this uh, community, um, pretty much just to see what, the, what, what, what my results would be. Because like I said, I didn't want to walk away quietly. Uh, so I reached out to um, 
the person that he provided, he, now my friend out of frustration, her and I, um, she was really upset <laughs> by the time we left on June 19th. And, you know, she really kind of, she didn't have an outburst, but she definitely expressed the fact that she felt like he didn't want us there and she felt like she was being discriminated against uh, or whatever. And, uh, yeah. Anyway. So she requested uh, his manager's email. And through that, he gave her an email, which I don't think it was a manager. I think it was a co-worker <laughs> who's going to have his back because that's how you do. That's how they do. Anyway, so um, sending out emails um, all across the board or whatever. Um, and to my surprise, the lady pretty much had the same defense he had, you know, according to fair housing because of market rent and because you have a voucher you know what i said earlier i don't want to go through the whole thing but what i really want to point out was in the in the close of her email that she sent to me she said um she said yeah unfortunately x y and z whatever whatever she said so she said you and your friend she, she disclosed her name, but I'm not going to disclose her name. But she said, you and your friend um, can come and pick up your money order. She said, or we can shred it. That sounds like a threat. That sounds like an That is an insult. That is an insult. I'm thinking to myself, that is a money order from my actual bank. That's not a check. And she didn't even at least offer to mail it to me. She told me either come get it or I'll shred it. Now, mind you, this is already adding on to the sad face that 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 old dude sent me that 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 the that the guy who I was originally working with sent me <laughs> oh you talk about the hurt oh you talk about the you talk about the the hurt not not only did i think and did i feel like everything was a go <laughs> But you sad face me in, 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 in a text message. And mind you, yes, maybe I took it a little in pers too personal. Maybe I was being a little sensitive when it comes to the sad face, uh, sad face emoji in the email. But what really <laughs> offended me the most was to tell me in so many words that if I don't come get my thousand dollar money order that you gonna shred it That's pretty much the end of it. <laughs> <sighs> so, I am going to open a case for this. I don't know if I'm going to get anywhere or not. Um, I don't know if it's going to be helpful or beneficial. Maybe I'm not very much well informed uh, when it comes to the housing laws and me having housing and all of that other stuff but i think i know enough to know that this ain't right <laughs> this ain't right at the end of the day this is not right i i'm 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 very disturbed uh by the, the way things became 
unprofessional. It, it, it just seemed to it just seemed to have come personal. I don't know. At this point, as y'all can see, I'm lost for words. So, uh, maybe <laughs> maybe you guys could uh like I don't know, give me some advice, ask questions, make some suggestions or something. Um, uh, long as they're not like rude and ignorant comments, I do not have time to entertain shenanigans. Right now, I am not a professional. Um, I do have experiences and things that I have, like I said, with, with credit building and stuff like that, that I've learned, um, in association with, you know, how my life is set up. So... I do not have all the answers. I only have my experiences. And that's that's what I choose to be sharing here. In a couple of my upcoming videos, I will be sharing um, how I was able to improve my credit score from, I want to say like five, I think my, when I first started, once I realized that my credit score was going down because of my apartment search, my, my credit score got down to like 580, uh, if not, if not less, it got down to like 580. <clears throat> uh, when I originally first started, uh, it was at like 630 and that was in like 2015. I had, a, I had only had a two bedroom voucher at the time. Um, my family size was, was, was growing and, um, I, I was starting to look and I didn't recognize that through, through all the apartment searching that my, my credit score had dropped down to, to 580, 560 or something like that. And so, uh, once I got it down to 560, um, and I was talking to a friend of mine and he had informed me about credit karma. I didn't know anything about credit karma. So in my future videos, um, I'm going to be sharing, um, not necessarily how credit karma works, but I am going to be sharing how credit karma, you know, how certain things they have, how certain ways they have their apps designed, uh, where it, it also, it help, it could help you build the credit. And so I'm going to be sharing, um, tips that I found out along the way. I'm going to be also sharing other experiences, uh, yeah. you know, how, um, I was able to manage, maintain and improve, um, my credit score within one year's time. I, I was able to get my credit score from 580, 590 to 730 and in a little under 12 months. All right. Anywho, thanks for watching. Um, if anyone have any questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, there may be some information that I'm, I'm, I'm leaving out. I just really wanted to get this version of this story out because it's really hitting me hard. It really is. It's really hitting me hard. And, um, <laughs> I don't know what to do. So, I don't know. Wish me luck. And until next time.